In a sport like football, everything is very specialized. Linemen are either protecting or getting to the ball. Receivers are trying to get open to get the ball, while defensive backs are trying to cover those guys. You get the point. But kickers are different. They kick the ball, and that's pretty much it. So to see a kicker attempt to do something with the ball or try and tackle someone is pure entertainment. He tries to throw a pass, deflected in the air, grabbed by Bass, 40, 35. See, that's what makes a guy like Joey Julius so unique. At a position that nearly offers nothing but a left or right foot, what he did was truly a sight to see, and it makes it even more devastating how fast it all ended. Near the end of his junior year in high school, Joey Julius had plans of attending SIU Edwardsville on a soccer scholarship. He played soccer his entire life, and that was going to be his ticket to free college. But throughout high school, the football coach at his high school made a deal with his soccer coach that he would strictly use Joey on kickoffs and place kicks, and then he'd run off the field. His soccer coach allowed him to do so, but once Joey stepped on the gridiron, the football mentality to go hit somebody set in. On top of that, he was an All-State kicker, and after what this article calls his thrilling 2013 season, he decided to give up that scholarship for soccer to pursue an opportunity of a lifetime. The reality of playing in front of over a hundred thousand for the team that he grew up watching his entire life, it doesn't get much better than that. After being verbally committed to SIU Edwardsville for nearly a year, Joey Julius had become Penn State's newest place kicker. After arriving at Penn State, in 2015, Julius led the Big Ten in field goal percentage and received honors as the top freshman kicker in the conference. Plus, he had gained a little bit of recognition nationwide for his size. But the following year, in 2016, that's when everything changed. On opening day, the Nitty Lions hosted Kent State. Guys like McSorley and Saquon Barkley starred in a win for Penn State. But a kickoff in the middle of the second quarter was the game's defining moment. And an opportunity for a return for Kent State. And Julius, the man doing the cover downfield. Oh, that's a kicker's dream right there. As he throws a return man down. You ever been hit harder by a kicker? No, no, I've never, <laughs> never been hit by a kicker. Actually, never got caught by a kicker. The kicker coming on that kicker turn there? Not even close. I did not see him at all. He, was, he definitely thought he was gonna make the tackle when he did. But <laughs> I put this out there. I'm not trying to show it, throw any shade, but Jabril did miss a <laughs> While Julius had gained a cult following across the nation, at the same time, he had gained enemies on the field. For the rest of the season, he had a target on his back. Even though that was the case, Joey had been dealing with something inside that was much worse. After going public on his Facebook that he had been diagnosed with an eating disorder, he ended up being featured on Good Morning America. For over a decade, he had been suffering from anxiety, depression, and gaining weight. Just months before he had gone viral for lighting dudes up, he had been entered in a treatment center for two months. This had become a serious issue in his life. While he had been in national headlines for his size, it was the very thing that nearly led him to suicide. Even though he sought out help and was getting it from others, before the 2017 football season, he had hit a low point in his life. This time he would be re-entered into the same treatment facility that he had gone to a year prior, and he officially was taken off of Penn State's roster. It has now been about a year and a half since Joey went viral, and about a year since he was taken off the team. What's going on with Joey now? He has been improving on his health, both mentally and physically. He has been featured as a keynote speaker for Mental Health and Wellness Week. He attended Penn State's game versus Michigan last fall, and he's even cracked a couple jokes on Twitter. I reached out to Joey to ask him a couple of questions. He let me know that he's currently going to school and has no intentions of playing again. 
He doesn't miss the game as much as he misses the camaraderie with his teammates. At the end of the day, guys like Joey are the kind of people I respect. To have the strength to reach out for help, even when things seem to be going well from the outside looking in, it's powerful. I have nothing but respect for Joey. So to wrap up this video on a positive note, a ton of people look up to this dude. Joey was a damn good kicker, and he should take pride in lighting up dudes on kickoff. Kickers everywhere aspire to make plays like that. Like watching linemen run with the ball, kickers and punters making plays will always be a sight to see. Oh, oh, the